Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I will be doing the read. And I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to pull out some oracle cards here first. Um, I haven't done that in quite a while. I'm going to be using these, uh, these crow, um, urban crow deck. And, uh, you know, the Vikings and the people that used these runes, their their bird was like the raven. That that's their bird, and you know all a raven is is just a huge uh, crow, <laughs> pretty much. So anyway, let's get a couple of these cards out here and see what's <clears throat> what's going on here before I pull anything else out. So you got growth. Well, everybody likes growth. Growth is good. Um, growth is talking about, I'll just kind of like get into it, I guess. This is what it looks like. I don't have these cards digitized. So anyway, that's what it looks like. But uh, this card here is talking about how we've transformed, how we have learned things, um, how we've learned things from, you know, that, that we didn't used to know from the past. You know, like for example, you know, I never used to read runes, but now I read runes. You know, it's kind of like a good example of that. Um, and it's called growth. It's like growing your it's like your life propelling it's like it's like transformation but you know transformation over a, over a certain amount of time not like you know because transformation never happens overnight so yeah so yeah this is some sort of growth you know this is you know Something in your life, Pisces, that you've learned, you know, how to do um, that you didn't know how to do maybe 20 years ago is actually turning into be, be a, 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 you know, a really good benefit in your life right now. All right. So that is what that one is talking about. What else is going on here with Pisces? Mm, grief, grief. So grief is talking about, um, you know, grieving over a loss. Um, and everybody grieves over a losses differently. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, mean like, um, it doesn't necessarily mean like the loss of someone, but, it, you know, it, it could be a loss of something. And whatever that loss is, um, you know, it's telling you to let go of that and, and to get that, get that to, to mourn however the way that you mourn to be able to get that ener that old energy out to be able to let the new energy in so you can grow some more All right maybe there hasn't been some closure you know grief is talking about um you know needing closure um you know maybe somebody um Maybe you lost somebody and never actually had closure. There was never any closure. And this is telling you, you know, maybe you can have closure now, which is good. It's going to give you more growth because this is not only talking about how you've uh, grown from one point to now, but it's also talking about starting to grow from now to the future. So that's what's really awesome about it. All right. And and new things are going to be coming towards you that 
you know, that you don't know now, but you will. And it's going to bring you more opportunities in your life. All right. So I like that. That's all right. And what else here with Pisces? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. So we got communication. Communication. Okay, Pisces. So communication is talking about... Um, about speaking up and being bold and being bold about it. Um, you know, this is saying to ask what you want for, just saying to speak, speak out what you want. All right. Um, don't be intimidated. Don't feel intimidated uh, about what you want. All right. So speak, speak your mind, say what you want. All right, yeah, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I say what I want and then people think I'm bossy or something, but you know, I, <laughs> excuse me, but I mean, I'm, I'm not really trying to be bossy. I'm just really kind of like, you know, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's what this card is saying. So just, uh, yeah. Let's get some runes out and see what else is going on here with Pisces. So we have Tiwas. Tiwas. Okay, so Tiwas is... Uh, is in reverse, so and it always means always Pisces. It means slow down on something. Okay. If there's somebody out there that watches me and drinks a lot, it's, it's saying to, to slow down. All right. Any aspect in your life, Pisces, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty slow. I don't know what the heck it's talking about with me slowing down, but. <laughs> um. Yeah, it always means that it, no matter what. So there's something, some sort of aspect in your life that you need to slow down in. Um, t -Waz is also talking about, um, you know, doing something that you uh, normally don't do. And I, I kind of feel tired energy out this. You know, I'm kind of like thinking maybe um, it would be, you know, good if you could, you know, take some time off and, 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 uh, you know, get some rest. You know, I kind of feel that. So what else is going on here with Pisces? Die gas. Look at this, die gas. And this is going right here with with growth with growth. See, Digaz is, like I said, this card here is talking about, you know, how you've transformed from like one part of your life to, to where you are now. But it's also talking about the transformation from now to later in your life. So this is awesome. So, I mean, this is, this is how transformation actually uh, unfolds. Okay. Some Somebody out there, I'm pretty sure, uh, that watches me may not quite understand what I mean by transformation. But uh, transformation uh, starts when when something different, you know, starts firing up within you. Right? It doesn't happen overnight, but, um, you know, once you start... Once you start doing something different, you know, things start to, tra you know, transform. For example, like if you, you know, if somebody has a really heavy drinking problem and they're drinking a lot, you know, if they stop drinking now, they're going to transform. But it's not going to happen overnight, that's for sure. Yeah. 
So that's that kind of, that's how transformation actually works. You know, it just takes some time, you know. But now is a really good time to, uh, you know, to dedicate yourself to, to something that you love that you want to do to, you know, to transform, to maybe to learn something even or, or change something in your life for the better. Now's the time. And what else is going on here with Pisces? He was. He was, huh? So now he was is um, you can see it shaped like a saddle there, Pisces. You know, maybe some of you are going to be traveling. Uh, this is a you know good sign of travel for sure. You know, I kind of am feeling though that uh, you know maybe uh, something could be transforming as far as some sort of a relationship as well. This Ewas here, um, it represents trust and companionship. It, you know, it, it represents that. So, I mean, this could be um, a spouse that's with you, you know. That could definitely be, you know, a spouse that's with you or it could be somebody that is with you that you trust yeah or like i said it could be some sort of travel it could be all all all, all together you know everything put together this is probably some sort of a short trip but you know The blank rune, hmm. The blank rune. You know, the blank rune trips me out, you know. It, a lot of people don't use the blank rune, but it comes in handy in a lot of reads, believe me. Um, and, you know, and this is telling me here, you know, that this is actually in the advice column, which is weird. So, you know, the advice is like blank. So, you know, this is telling me that, you know, I don't think that anything is uh, set in stone. You know what I mean? There's some sort of a decision, but... There's, there's no advice yet because some of this hasn't quite materialized yet. That could be the issue. And it's like I said, this transformation, it doesn't happen overnight usually. I mean, sometimes it does. Sometimes people like hit the lotto and get really rich all of a sudden and don't know what the heck to do, but uh, that's pretty rare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is going on with Pisces? I'll know more about the blank rune later on after I pull all the runes out. But wow, Pisces. Anzus. Anzus. Hmm. So, you know, I like this. Anzus is talking about communication. This is some sort of communication that is coming in for sure. All right. And now, you know, Pisces, we've been getting this communication. I think a lot of it has been slow energy and some of us haven't got any information yet or any or any communication yet. Yeah. If anybody should know about that, I haven't got any communication yet. I know that. Some of you maybe may have, but I haven't yet. And I don't think a lot of you have either. But it's coming. All right. There is some sort of communication coming. Um, 
and it's when it's in the upright it's 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 always very positive all right this is usually like a phone call or um word of mouth yeah You know, and whatever this is here, whatever this, whatever this uh, communication is, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna do something over here with. I see it over here with uh, T was shaking things up. Transformation. Huh. Maybe shaking things up, huh? Interesting. What's going on with Pisces? What I mean by shaking things up is I mean by, you know, this could have something to do with, uh, this is good news about something that you might have feared. Something that you feared, but it's going to be good news. That could be something like that. What's going on with Pisces? Maybe you feared the worst and it's not. So there we have Brido. So now Rito's in reverse here. This is talking about, um, this is, by the way, you guys, this isn't your energy. This is someone else's energy now. This is somebody, whoever you're dealing with. I have to get more runes out to see what this is talking about. But, you know, Rito in reverse can indicate, um, an obstacle in travel, like some sort of travel issue um, or uh, like difficulty, um, you know, traveling. Obstacles. What's going on with Pisces? I guess, I guess. So Digaz is, um, Digaz is, uh, it's transformation. It's also Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with somebody that has Pisces in their chart. And I'm pretty sure about that because, um, yeah, I just kind of feel that. Whoever you're dealing with has Pisces in their chart. They don't have to necessarily be a Pisces, but they could definitely have Pisces like in their moon sign or Pisces, you know, somewhere in their chart, there's Pisces. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that. Doesn't necessarily have to be because this is just talking about major transformation that uh, this person has undergone. This person has changed. Whoever this person is. So Nathis is, is a lacking of, this person is lacking something. I don't know what it is that it, they are lacking, uh, but they could have also learned something too. I 
I feel that this person has learned something. I don't really feel that they're lacking much. I feel that more that they have learned something because um, for number one, it's it's sitting right here next to digas, which is transformation, right? So this person has definitely changed. They've transformed, all right? And right over here in reverse is talking about spiritual, um, is very spiritual. Now this person may have some problems uh, traveling at the moment as well, but I feel that this person for sure has undergone some sort of a spiritual uh, transformation. All right, they they've gone, they've worked on themselves. They they've really changed. Okay, and they've learned something. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's a little better read than yesterday's read. Yesterday's read, you know, we had somebody in there lying, talking about a liar. <laughs> At least we don't have that going on today, huh? What's going on with Pisces? And by the way, uh, you guys, you know, um, my readings um, are kind of, I can't explain it. The timelines are different, okay? I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Sometimes it's slow. Look at, we got Isa right here. This is slow energy, right? So sometimes the reading doesn't materialize uh, quite as quickly as we had, we wish. That's why there's no advice here at all because some of this has not even materialized yet. All right, so this is kind of like, really kind of like talking about you know, things that are coming up in the later this month. Okay, when I pull when I pull the Oracle cards out like that, it gets deep and it kind of like makes the reading go further. All right, so this is kind of like going into this month. All right. So let's get some uh, some tarot cards out here. And see what's going on with Pisces. Wow, look at this Pisces. This is blowing my mind. We just pulled this card yesterday. I mean, it came up the day before too. This is transition. This is the death, the death card. Um, yeah, we're we're trans we're 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 coming from a very dark place here, Pisces, and moving out into the sun. It's just like I said, this energy is moving kind of slow, all right. For now, until things pick up, things will pick up. Believe me, I feel that too. But right now, things, at least for me, they feel slow. Um, and that's the only reason why I can feel why I feel that this blank rune is here because a lot of this hasn't materialized yet. All right. What else is going on here with Pisces? Page of Swords, who the spy, the spy. Somebody's watching you, Pisces. Yeah. I know somebody's watching me, hi. <laughs> you guys are watching me, somebody's watching me. But this is the spy card. This is somebody that's watching you, Pisces. Let's, let's uh, clarify the spy card here. This is, by the way, also a student, um, you know. And Nathis is talking about uh, Nathis is talking about learning, you know. But this is not your energy. This is somebody else's energy, and this spy card is definitely um, 
not your energy. This is somebody else's energy. So why is the spy there? Oh, well, you got the two of the two of uh, swords. Okay, so whoever is watching you, um, you know, maybe they 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 have they're at a crossroads in their life, and they have to make some sort of a choice. Okay, but it seems to me like when I look at this card, and if you notice this card, you guys, you see, look at. It doesn't matter which sword he picks. There's only one choice. There's no other choice. There's only one choice. You know, and it doesn't matter which sword he picks up because they're both coming from the same source. So, you know, it's kind of like, it, it reminds me of, here's a sword for you and here's a sword for me. Yeah. That's kind of the energy that I feel about that. This is a little bit different than your typical Two of Swords. Yeah, as you can see, you know, the typical Two of Swords, he's blindfolded and, you know, and he's got his, you know, swords crossing his heart. This is way different. These guys aren't blindfolded. They can reach down there and grab, you know, here's a sword for him and a sword for him. It, you know, it doesn't matter. There's only one choice. All right. Only one right choice. So what about what else about this page of uh, swords? King of swords. Wow. So this is Aquarius energy. Um, yeah, you know. Interesting. So, you know, Pisces, you could be dealing with somebody with, you know, that uh, this person could have Aquarius in their chart. You know, they could also have a, um, Capricorn. I'm picking up Capricorn energy over here and also Pisces energy over here. Wow. Interesting. So what else is going on here with Pisces? Oops. Wow, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Pisces, this is awesome. So, you know, the Wheel of Fortune here is talking about um, I feel that the, I'm going to I want to I want to I want to clarify that. This is the Wheel of Fortune there. Wow, look at that. The t wow, Pisces. So, yeah, this, this right here, see, this is, everybody wants the 10 of, everybody wants the 10 of uh, pentacles. The, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Pisces. This might have something to do with, with the family. This is also a family card. You could be dealing with people in your family for sure. This could be something to do with your family, all right? Don't know why that keeps coming up, but it does. But uh, this is looking, you know, actually very, very good. All right. And whoever this uh, person here that's watching you, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to uh, communicate with you or not. This is on Zeus right here. But, it, you know, if they are, they, they're, they're being very, very slow about it. Okay. So you guys, at the bottom of the deck, we got the emperor. You could be, this is Aries energy. This is, the emperor is taking control, all right? So this is what you don't see. This is, you could be dealing with an Aries as well. But this is somebody coming to you from your past. We got the six of cups right there, all right? The six of cups. Yeah. And then we have the devil. Ooh, the devil. A Capricorn energy, some sort of a communication. All right. So I see communication right here. You know. So it's looking really good here, Pisces. Let's get you. Um, 
Let's get you one of these uh, warm rooms. Sorry about the little break in the videotape. I had a really important phone call I had to take, so I had to stop the video. and <laughs> So it's kind of like, you know, but anyway, that's what happened. So what else is going on here with Pisces? If you're new, you guys, these are called the warm rooms, and these are um, from Ireland. Ireland and Scotland they, you know, uh, they're not only an alphabet and a language, but uh, they're also different trees. So this is could be like an apple tree, and this could be like a piece of oak tree. And yeah, so what it is, it's like, um, it's tree mat. It's, it's, it's tree energy. So what's going on with Pisces? Hmm. Well, I like that. Let's see what else. Let's see what that's talking about. Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> this is a really great book, but it's, you know, kind of cheap. Uh, it's hard to find these books, so I'm telling you, Pisces, these are not easy. Um, I got these runes on Etsy. And that's the only place I know of to get runes like this. Now, where the heck is that? I'm sorry, you guys. I apologize. It's taken me forever to find this thing. Well, I know I got to be close. Ah. Let me see here. Is it on this side? No. Wow. There they go. Gee whiz. I'm sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> ah, all right so anyhow the name of this particular rune here pisces is called shalya shalya and this is a piece of willow tree all right and shalya is a mother moon energy she brims with emotions fertility compassion shalya comes to us to encourage healing and forgiveness she gives us permission to sink into the power of cleansing tears. She invites us to reconnect with spirit through dreams, intuition. Shalya welcomes us to return harmony and balance while remaining flexible and practical. And this really kind of like reminds me, Pisces, the Shalya. It, it talks about cleansing tears and, you know, with grief right here. You know, I'm thinking that, you know, the cleansing tears, you know, uh, everybody needs to grieve and have closure. All right. So, yeah, there could be some sort of, uh, you know, closure coming that, you, that you've needed, you know, that you've needed. It just was never there. All right. That could be very well it. Let's get you a couple of moon cards here. What's going on with Pisces? Nothing is yet set in stone. Wow. And you know what I think that's talking about, Pisces? I think that's talking about this blank grin. Because see, half of this hasn't even really materialized yet. This is kind of like, you know... This is kind of like a, a bonus reading, you guys, because this is really kind of like going into the more into the month. <laughs> All right. So what else is going on with Pisces? A win-win outcome is forecast. A win-win outcome is forecast. So it looks, it looks good, Pisces. It really does. 
The only thing that kind of gets me is I don't know about this person that's spying on you. Um, you know, the thing it is about it is here, uh, Pisces, is I kind of think you know who it is, all right? And, uh, you know, I don't know. Let's see if they come forward and, and communicate with you. But there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. Bye for now.